Hi everyone, this is Ritesh from Dancing with Data and I'm glad to inform you that I have extended my PL300 certification by one year. So I will tell you definitely what all I did to extend my certification. But before we move forward, do visit my website dancingwithdata.com where I talk about data analytics as a whole. It can be Tableau, it can be Power BI, it can be other BI tools as well. Do subscribe to my channel if my videos are making sense to you and liking and sharing another mode of caring. So as you remember, it all started when I myself got certified and with its certification only, I think that was the start of my YouTube channel. So if you are still preparing for this PAL 300 certification, I have full video set of around 19 videos in which you can find the PL 300 questions, sample questions. You get the idea, you get the format idea, you cover different topics, so forth and so on. Now this comes up with one year validity. So once you are approaching to your expiry date, then what do you have to do? Unlike other or different BI tools here with Power BI PL 300, recertification process it's very straightforward simple it's free and number of attempts and what not microsoft has provided you a learning path for the recertification as as well now this page uh, will be there at my youtube description so note take a note of that once you come to this page go down and it, it shows you skill measurement so what is what all skills will be measured in the recertification examination Okay, fair enough. And after that, there is a free, the like the way we had with the PL300 certification, items in this collection. Get data, clean, transform data, so forth and so on. If you have prepared the same from the similar learning path, uh, you might see that certain percentage would be completed for you already. But if you are new, it's okay, you can complete it. It's a nice place for you to go to the different modules and after that revise and if you ask me the level of questions i think it was simpler than you had with pl300 main examination all in all there will be 25 questions there will be multiple choice questions over there total duration will be 45 minutes not only that not only that there will be no proctor no one is monitoring you and you can even rewrite the exam twice in a row then you have to wait for 24 hours the minimum percentage required was 52% and I got around 80%. So the minimum percentage needed is also less the, with compared to the original PL, PL300 certification. So at the end, I can say that this PL300 recertification is quite straightforward. So do not wait, do not allow it to be expired because once it expires, then you will have to make more effort for your recertification. So before it expires, just get to the learning and PL 300 path. From there, you can revise your topics. I won't say that you need to spend a lot of time because you have already done this. I don't see many new features being added over there, you know, in which you will spend a lot of time. Also, you can give multiple attempts. So it makes sense to go and, you know, get the idea of the questions because it won't matter even if you don't qualify in a way. But I think the minimum base is too less, 52%. So I, I think that you will be qualified in your first attempt itself, like I did. So I hope that this information was informative and this will help you to recertify and get that batch, which is already there, but just to ex extend the expiry date for the same. Keep on dancing with data, because data is data, what you want, everything Bye-bye.